hard to do because lupus is one of those diseases that's very unpredictable. And so it was very hard for me to know when a flare was gonna happen. And for me, my symptoms were extreme fatigue and joint pain. And those two things really hindered me um, when I was having a flare to, to be at my level um, to play soccer. And so I just remember having bad days and I remember having to tell myself, you know what, wake up tomorrow, tomorrow's a new day. Um, and we'll try again. And the first couple of years I went through it on my own. The only person that really knew was one teammate and my doctor. And um, it was very lonely kind of dealing with that. And so, um, you know, I made sure that I had a very open and honest dialogue with my doctor so that she could help me figure out the best plan so that I could do something that, and continue to do something that I loved. I am constantly talking to my doctor, making sure that I'm on the right plan. Um, but another big thing is to use the resources like usinlupus.com. Um, I wish that it existed at that time when I was um, first being diagnosed because it's a place that you can go to get, you know, track your symptoms, you can keep a journal of all your notes for your doctors. It just gave you confidence um, in knowing that you can manage your, your illness by going to your doctor and having that confidence to talk to them about the things that you've been able to record. And, um, you know, I live with lupus every day. Even though I'm in remission right now, um, I still have bad days. And again, I, you know, I, I think about my kids and I want to get on the floor with them and I want to run around with them. And it's so important for me to stay on top of it and manage my illness.